Good morning. Oh my god, there's actual sunlight. Wow, that's very bright. My bed looks so weird being white, but I'm kind of getting used to it. Do we like the hair? I've done milkmaid braids, which I haven't done since literally like 2018. I feel like it works. I changed my outfit. I was wearing my brown corduroy pants with a brown stripy top, but that kind of looks like a little boy and the hair was giving milkmaid like flower cottage core. So I put this outfit on to match the cutesy vibe. I wish I could wear a dress with this, my dungaree dress. I have a brown corduroy dungaree dress, which would look so cute, but I'm pretty sure it's like five degrees outside. I'm not getting my legs out even though there's a lot of sun. <laughs> it looks really like hazy, you know like misty when it's really sunny. It looks like that today. I'm also wearing my little bee necklace. Love it. I had my breakfast. I think I showed my yogurt toast, delicious. That is my favorite breakfast and snack at the minute. I'm also downloading Sims because I freaking love Sims, but I hate booting up my PC because it takes forever. So I'm downloading Sims on my MacBook so that I can play all the time. How would you guys feel about a Sims 4 video? Like, gaming content? Do we vibe with that? Do we not? Sims 4, maybe. That's not gamer content. It's a game, obviously. But I feel like Sims 4 passes for, like, lifestyle. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> a Sims challenge. A Sims series. I could put out, like, one gaming video a week. Ooh, new prospects. If you guys didn't know, I used to stream. I don't anymore because I don't have the time until I finish my A-levels. But I used to stream. I'm actually a gamer. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the tip with my mum because I've got all that stuff to take from the clear out and then we're gonna walk the dog because it's beautiful weather and then I've got to come back and do a load of revision, a load of college work, boring stuff and then some art. I'll probably film that. Have a lovely day. Hello. I'm gonna package some orders because I think I have three to package and send off. Hello. You're right, pup. Hopefully shipping is quicker nowadays because I don't think we're quite in that mega rush that we had before Christmas. So fingers crossed things start getting out a little bit faster. One person has ordered a bookmark and another person has ordered my mushroom print and four log slices. I think that's all my log slices sold out now, which is crazy. Okay, it's definitely not all of them because I have a few. This little glittery one my moon log slice this log slice which is double-sided i love this one i definitely want to make some more like this in fact i might do that today and then this log slice which is also double-sided i love this one too i definitely want to make some more like this they're really nice and shiny because they've got a gloss coating on i think they're my favorites actually i've still got all of these so there's a lot more in the shop if you like anything that you see i'm going to be making some more as well because I've ordered so much, I am gonna put a little freebie in and I think I'm gonna put in a Meg and Cat bookmark. Or do I give them a mini print? I might give them a mini print because the little ghost one matches the green. My freebie stickers are running really low. I'm gonna have to print some out, but they're both gonna get a little pumpkin sticker because every single person gets a free sticker. I've got a couple little Easter tester designs as stickers as well. So I'm gonna add a couple of these in. I'll add the daisy and the leaf. Because there's so much in this order and they're quite delicate things, I'm gonna put it in a bubble mailer. Hello, Future Zara here. This was actually about four months ago. Can I do maths? Three months ago. It was in February, whenever that was. It's now June. I know that is a long time. I have so many videos I need to edit. I have like 20 video drafts that I just haven't had the time to edit, but I finished my exams this week. Woo! I finished A-levels. Fuck off. So once I finish my A-levels, I will be able to put out loads more videos. And another thing I'm doing is I'm releasing a big, big art drop. I have loads of things that I've been making and stickers that I've been designing, new products and stuff, but I haven't had the time Aww. to properly take photos of them, upload them, do the whole packing, promoting thing. All that will be starting now. So keep your eyes out. I'll probably announce it on my YouTube in the community tab. Also on Instagram, I announce everything there and give more day-to-day -day updates over there. So feel free to follow me if you don't already. This order is actually going to America. I find it so cool when packages go abroad. Like I can send something, put it in the envelope, and then it turns up like halfway across the world. It's amazing. I'm gonna add a bit of cardboard just to keep it sturdy. I 
forgot to put the... Oh gosh, I forgot to put it in. Damn it. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching, um, here's your thank you card. <laughs> Oops. I thought I would answer some questions from my Instagram while I'm packaging some of these thank you cards. There's a lot of voiceovers in this video, but this is a new design that I made. It's the same as my bookmarks and my print. It's a design called Megan Cat. I designed the characters and I made it into these little thank you cards and put some text on, which I think is really cute. This is a question I got recently on my YouTube, but I get it quite a lot, and it's when did my symptoms of Tourette's start? Was it a certain age that my Tourette's actually became a thing? The first time we noticed my tics, like visible ones, was when I was seven. I didn't actually get diagnosed until I was 14 because my vocal tics that were really obvious, like words, sentences, my coprolalia, that didn't start till I was like 13, 14. So it was quite a long process and it all just built up gradually. Another question is, is it stressful having tics? I can say for definite, yes. <laughs> it's pretty stressful. With vocal tics, obviously we can offend people. It sounds odd, people don't understand. With the physical tics, it looks odd. It can be frustrating in that sense, and it's also frustrating and stressful when we can't stop moving and it's actually physically hurting us, so yes. But I do have good moments. It chops and changes. Hey, I didn't do an outro for this video because life kind of got in the way. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This was quite a short video, but I had some extra art footage that I wanted to use and thought I would give you an extra one for this week. I think I might start posting twice a week. I actually have too much content and it's gonna take me like five years to post all my drafts if I don't get editing them and posting them multiple times a week. There's so many cars pulling up right now, it's very noisy. But I'm finishing my exams this week. As I said earlier, I'm finishing my gap year, so I'm gonna be free. There's gonna be a lot of summer trips, activities, meeting up with Jess and Anouk, meeting new friends, meeting old friends. Lots of video and vlogging opportunities. Content is about to get good. The wind. Jesus. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you on Sunday for another video. Also, I haven't cut my hair. Everyone always thinks I've cut my hair, but it's always just tucked into my top because it pisses me off. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.